Welcome to my channel, okay? Today's video is about my Louis Vuitton Capucine, the BB size. If you have not subscribed, please do so and click that notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. Okay, so as I mentioned, I have my Louis Vuitton Capucine bag in the BB size. So this bag comes in four sizes. They have the mini, they have the BB, they have the MM and the GM, okay? And I chose the BB size. So the measurements on this, I'll let you know in centimeters and in inches as well. This is 29 centimeters in length. The height is 18 centimeters. And the width here is nine centimeters, okay? So in inches, this bag is 11 inches length, um, 7.5 inches in height, and four inches in width, okay? So it has this gold tone hardware, as you can see here, and it's kind of like an understated LV, logo just there isn't that nice with like leather over the top of it so it looks really good it does have this flap closure that you can put over it let's say you're somewhere where you don't really want to show the logo you know it's you want a really understated bag so you can just put the flap over the top and you'll have this uh, flower-like motif showing um, and not the LV. So as I showed you earlier, the V and the L are kind of leather wrapped. And if you read about this bag, it just talks about how it's mimicking um, the trunks from Louis Vuitton, even this jeweled gold um, tone hardware. So this is the Turalon leather, which is the grained leather. And I chose the Galette um, color. It's like a taupey gray, yeah, a little bit like a dark gray tone um, bag. And I really like it. I've had this for over two years and I have not been taking care of it. I should have really been babying it because it is such a, a nice, classy, classy bag, okay? But as you can see here, I've like, the leather, I've kind of ruined it. Anyway, this type of leather that they used on this Capucine bag is also like one type of leather that uh, mares uses on their bags as well so it's really good leather um yeah and i really like it so the word capucine came about um <laughs> because it was named after a street in paris where louis vuitton first like opened their store in 1854 but the bag was actually launched in um 2013 so yes, it's a really nice bag. I'll show you inside. So the inside is leather. It looks like this. So as you can see there, it has that zip. And of course, all the zips are gold tone, written Louis Vuitton on them. And so yes, it's a nice little pocket. And then it's divided into um, the two big compartments with that um, separation in the middle and yes so the bag I don't know if you can see but it has these sort of hooks in there hope you can see that there's one here and there's one on the other side as well just there and that's for the strap okay and inside the bag is also this hook here and that just goes here so i'll put that together just to show you it's one way to secure the bag you know when we don't want people sticking their hands in there 
without our permission, we can just close it up like this. So that's one way and I will show you another way that you can secure this bag. Okay, so if you remember I mentioned this flap, it, it can go where there's this piece of leather here. Do you see that? Just there. So I'll just show you. So you can just put in there to close the flap and show your LV while you're securing your bag. As you can see there, it's closed up. Nobody is going to be sticking their hands in there. The bag also has four protective um, gold turned metal studs just to protect the leather from the surfaces. I love bags that have those studs at the bottom, you know, because you want to preserve your bag for as long as you can because it is a lot of money. I think it's about 7060 right now on the Louis Vuitton website. I'm so glad I was able to sit down and share with you my uh, other bag in my collection. Um, the Louis Vuitton Capucine in the BB size. Toralin leather, um, cowhide leather trim, and all those great things that we love about these luxury bags. I love the stitching, I love the design. This bag has a strap that I've mentioned, um, and this one is about 52 centimeters, um, 20.5 inches roughly. Um, so yes, this one is not adjustable, so, and I'm gonna hook it up so I can show you. I usually use the crook of my arm. I love top handle bags for that very reason. Um, and I do like that it has a longer strap, so I do have the option of wearing it crossbody because sometimes, Look, you're busy, you're running around, you want something that's hands-free. So you you can use the um, handle to wear your bag crossbody. It looks like a really dressy bag, but I, as you can see, it can also work casually because it is understated. Um, you just hide that LV if you don't want people to know. And unless somebody knows about Louis Vuitton and Louis Vuitton bags, they will not know what bag this is. They'll just be like, wow, that's a nice bag, but I wonder where it's from, you know? I was trying to decide which bag to talk about today. I ended up deciding on this bag, but this is the other bag that I wanted to discuss today. This is the Speedy 30 in the Bandolier um, and the Damier Bean print, gold hardware. Anyway, listen. This video is not about this bag, but I just wanted to show you real quick that um, this is the bag I'll be talking about in another video. So yes, it's still pretty new as you can see. That's why it still has these folds. Um, if you didn't know, Louis Vuitton bags come folded if you order them in the mail. So um, anyway, let's put this away. That does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like it and leave me a comment in the down bar below. Okay, I will see you in my next one. Bye.